Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y version and before we do anything in this episode I actually want to do one tiny little insignificant thing. We're gonna go back to Route 10 again but this time we're gonna search for our next party member which I really hope you people think is pretty cool. Let's see can we get on the first try? Yes we got it! It is a wild EV. Now I know a lot of you people are thinking I already know what he's gonna pick. I already know what it is. But you may actually not. Now Capturing this thing could be, well, I guess it's going to be really easy. We're going to use a Fury Cutter and do a little bit of damage, but not too terribly much now. Here's the thing. It can't really damage us, so I guess we're pretty much in free reign. Now, it's in a pretty decent position to get captured, so let's give it a shot. Now, I'm going to use something maybe a little controversial, but we're going to throw a Luxury Ball at it. And hopefully capture it. Come on, get in the ball. It'd be really good and time-saving if you got in the first time. Come on, get in the ball. Yes, we got it. And this is Eevee. Say hi to him. He's a pretty cool guy. He's the next party member. He's starting to be our fifth permanent party member. And yeah, let me know what you guys think I should name him. Because I kind of don't know. Let's read his Pokedex entry. Thanks to its unstable genetic makeup, this special Pokemon conceals many different possible evolutions. And alright, he's going to be in the box. I'm just going to go over to the Pokemon Center real quick and transfer him. So yeah. And I'm extremely curious what you guys think I should name uh, our new Eevee because, well, I honestly can't think of one. Also, I forgot to show this off. There's three rocks in the center of the town. Pretty cool. Don't really know what they're for, though, but I guess we'll get into that later. But, Lucario, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, it's that girl again. Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, that trainer from Route 5. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure, but I think Lucario is saying it wants to battle with you. Would you like to battle us? So I have two Lucarios. And yet, sir, I guess we have no choice. And we are about to battle a uh, leader, Karina? Huh. She's going to send out a Lucario. As she said, she's not a liar. She just has two Lucarios. I'm not really too afraid of them because, well, Excalibur simply can't be touched by these fools. And yeah, so we're going to... I'm just going to Source Dance one time and then start using Aerial Ace. Now, Aerial Ace won't really be super effective against these guys because their parts steal, just be neutral. That's pretty much the best damage that he can do. And yep, there goes a boost to our attack. I mean, I really love Excalibur. Seriously, his design, it's seriously one of my favorite in the whole Pokemon series. Just playing with this guy and seeing all of his animations and everything, it's just so fun. And yeah, ugh. The animation for Aerial Ace is really awesome. Just gotta say that, too. It looks really great. And oh, it's gonna use Swords Dance, too. Now, you're starting to notice Lucario isn't really damaging us. You know why? Because it only has one attack. No joke. And it can't hit our Pokemon, so this is actually going to be pretty boring. So we're probably just going to switch in and have Vivi take care of the other Lucario. Yeah, down he goes. Your fighting and Steel-type Pokemon are inferior to my ghost and Steel-type Pokemon. <laughs> and hey, Vivi got to level 29. Not bad. It's going to sound like another Lucario. Sounds like Vivi's time to shine. And we have actually a lot of Pokemon to take care of a Steel-fighting type. It's kind of funny. Almost everybody can do it, but Gogurt and Eevee, of course, and Lucario has been sent out. Now, here's the deal. Um, I actually did damage calculations. It turns out Ember is pretty much the best damage we can do at the moment, which sounds really stupid, but it's true. It's kind of sad, and yeah, it's going to be a solid two-hit KO. Until we learn a better fire move, it's really just going to be the best damage we can do, and oh no, metal sound. Whatever will I do? These Lucarios got nothing on my Pokemon. And they get taken down relatively easily, alright. <laughs> and hey, Excalibur got... Wow, Excalibur never... Everyone's just getting levels like crazy. And hey, Gogurt wants to learn a new move. Bulldoze. Ah, uh, Bulldoze is basically a ground-type move. It's... I'm not a fan, personally. And yeah. Eevee also wants to learn Covet. That move is also not too great, so I'm not going to learn it. We defeated Karina. What? Not even my ultra-powerful Lucario duo could stand it up to you. <laughs> I guess not. I guess I've just that cool. And yeah. Okay, now I get it. I see why Lucario likes you so much. So, do you remember that I'm the gym leader in Shalor City? Once you get past the cave, just be on here. You'll be there. So stop by and say hello. All right. Well, we know where the third gym is. And hey, maybe in that town we'll find something that can tell us about Mega Pokemon. This is the next route. Um, 
We're going to give this Citrus Berry. Why the heck not? I'm going to be skipping some of these trainers because this episode is most likely going to have a ton of trainer battles in it. However, I still need to get some EXP, so we're going to take this one on. A Battle Girl's power comes from her belt, you know. <laughs> and uh, yes, this um apparent Battle Girl, Gurindadine, I don't know, is going to send out a Minfu or Minfu. I don't know how to say it. And this is basically just a fighting type. We're not really too afraid of this thing. As long as it doesn't have any dark attacks, we should be alright. And used to fake out and totally sucked. So Excalibur is going to use a aerial ace. And it's going to take this guy out in two hits or so. And wow, he literally can't put a finger on me. That is pretty funny. However, it's a really high level. And that's not cool. Why are you level 28 for crying out loud? It's higher than me. Uh, gotta keep my belt tight, tight. Ugh. Yeah. Well, apparently it wasn't tight enough. Because you lost, noob. <laughs> okay. And hey, we got a hollow clip. What's going on? Is it? No, it's not Serena. It's that weird guy, Sycamore. Hello there, lol. <laughs> Looks like you're almost made it to Shalor City. That's fantastic. I like your journey with your Pokemon and around the Kalos region is going swimmingly. I want to tell you about a person in Shalor who knows a great deal about Mega Pokemon. People call him the Mega Evolution Guru. I've told everyone else about him, so it's... Alright, that sounds like a pretty decent lead. It's kind of annoying how you didn't tell us that from the very beginning, but what are you gonna do? And let's battle these two dudes. Rahia, hiya, hiya, beyond the results of my training. Hashi, hi, 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 All of my training was for this match! This literal match. These people have been training since they were infants just to take me down. I'm a little flattered, but I hate to break it to you guys. You're gonna lose. And he's gonna sound out I'm a choke and a mist of mine. Cool. <laughs> we're gonna toss out. Huh, is this honestly... Yeah, this is actually pretty good. So, we're going to let Excalibur Swords dance, and then we're going to use Psybeam on the Machoke to just do some decent damage. And man, I just can't wait to... Can't wait till my starter evolves one more time. It's going to be awesome. Awesome, we got the confusion, and I just said awesome two times in a row. That's a little silly. Mr. Mom's going to try his best to set up a barrier, or more so a light screen. Try and protect himself, and haha, <laughs> Machoke hit himself. Idiot. And this next Sword Stance Fury Cutter is going to do a lot of damage. Now, I haven't pointed it out yet. Excalibur actually has the ability, no guard. So moves will not miss. Ever. So Fury Cutter is pretty darn good on him if you can keep building it up. So yeah, Machoke goes down after a second side beam and, well, <laughs> this is actually a pretty laughable double battle. Most double battles actually give me quite a lot of problems, but for some reason, this one hasn't. Hey, Vivi wants to learn Light Screen. That's a pretty good move. Let's get a scratch for that. Sounds like a plan. Alright. You know, you're not really our support character more so. I really would have liked that on maybe Gogurt, but what are you going to do with Du Duo? Get him levels too. Don't worry guys, Duo will have his time to shine in. Oh. My. Goodness. That is pretty darn well played, Mr. Mime. He's going to make it to where I constantly use Swords Dance. That sucks. <laughs> to put it frank. Oh, I can only use... Oh, darn. Okay. So, we're going to switch out, hmm, I guess to Gogurt, and then we're just going to use Ember on this Mr. Mime. Darn, that was pretty, you know, he knew he was going to lose. Oh, I should have just done Fury Cutter from the start. I shouldn't have been greedy. I knew it was going to take him down. And yeah, let's just send Gogurt in here so we get some decent EXP. See how much an Ember can do. Oh, it did almost happen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, he set up a light screen, so he might be in a pickle. But luckily, Gogurt off screen, learn take down, so that's going to do a lot of damage. This is Mr. Mime. If we ever get to actually have a chance to move. And Psybeam. Oh, don't hit my little goaty goat. No. A lot of damage. But this takedown should retaliate and take down the Mr. Mime. You know, because it's called takedown. And it takes down things. And yeah. So that was pretty much our first taste of a really stronger trainers. And yeah, that was a little bit challenging, but not by much. So... We are going to now go inside this cave. What's this cave called? Sorry for that brief interruption, but yeah, it's called Reflection Cave. Ooh, neat. Now, I do have a lot of potions and such, so I probably should do that right now. This cave is actually very challenging and very long. I really like it. It's uh, pretty cool. Let's use our Super Repel right here. Okay, looks good. Now, if something is telling me we want Jackie in the front, so we're going to do that. Jackie's currently level 27. He'll be getting in the levels pretty soon. I think he's really close to evolving. And as the sign says, no bicycles or roller skates. Boo, boo, boo. And let's see. Oh, we can actually look in the mirror. That's pretty sick. But because we can do so, these trainers always can see us. Arr! Which is kind of annoying, but hey, it's not <laughs> the end of the world. And the backpacker Lane wants to battle. 
Lane Pavogi. <laughs> He's gonna send out Ella Noon. Pretty tough. But Jackie has been lifting weights. You guys don't see it on screen, but he's just been—he's just been going real hard at the gym, guys. And he learned the move Vital Throw. The way Vital Throw works is, it has negative priority, meaning it'll most likely always go last. However, it does a ton of damage. Look at that! Took him down in one hit. <laughs> Man, Jackie is a beast, dude. Speaking of which, he's gonna get. Ooh, oh my gosh, guys! He might actually level up in this video. Wouldn't that be cool? So that kind of plays into the fact that Jackie has subpar speed by having just really strong attacks. And we defeated Lane, the first of many trainers to fall to our awesome arsenal of Pokemon. Yeah. So let's go down here real second. Uh, and actually, let's check and see what's over here. Hmm, an item. Huh. Can we get it? Yeah, let's go grab this. Oh, it's a revive. Neat. So if a Pokemon faints, we can now just bring it back. It's real helpful. All right. I'm gonna try and get some of the items in here. Probably won't get them all, but you never know. While well, stop getting interrupted by random Pokemon. Let's actually battle this chick. I wanna see what Pokemon has. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the strongest of them all? Not you, that's for sure. <laughs> this is another battle girl. Mm. Now this chick has really tough Pokemon. First of which is Throw. Fifth generation Pokemon I'm personally a giant fan of. I think he's really cool. And this guy is unfortunately very, very bulky. However, He's only going to hit you with one of two things. A Vital Throw, which is probably going to do a lot of damage, or a Bulldoze. So just be careful of that, and ooh, that Vital Throw might do a ton of damage, goodness. I don't want to lose any of my Pokemon here, but we do have the Revive in case that happens. Come on, this got to do a lot of damage. Darn, here comes the Vital Throw. This might finish off Jackie. Oh, goodness, how could I let that happen? Man, it's not the end of the world, though. We still get our main man, Vivi, to come in here and basically clean up duty. Oh, right. <laughs> it even has kind of like a broom on its butt. Does anyone else see that? I think it looks kind of like a witch's broom. And a side beam should be able to take down this throw with relative ease. All right. Now, here's the true test of skill. Her next Pokemon is very deadly. Oh, darn. I really need to bring Jackie back. And a Haluncha. Oh, my gosh. We're going to scan Excalibur out here to deal with this Pokemon because this guy is actually kind of a jerk. It is a fighting flying type. Very cool type combination. But is it relatively deadly. Mm. So we could either do the sword dance thing, even though I'm not really leaning towards that. But yeah, let's just do that. And it is going to use Aerial Ace, uh, which is going to do virtually nothing to our Excalibur. So here comes the swords dance. Next turn, we're going to be doing a lot of damage. Now, nothing is really super effective that we have. Because, you know, I'm kind of trying to reserve a Vivi here because I don't want him to die, which I feel like would really happen. Here comes another Aerial Ace. The thing is that Excalibur resists flying moves and, well, can't be hit by fighting, so it kind of shuts this down entirely. This Pokemon can't really do much against us and should be just eliminated entirely. There we go. <laughs> and yeah, Aerial Ace is a really cool looking move in this generation. It can never miss, but I don't know. I don't feel like it's really that great on Excalibur. Yeah, to do is getting up in the levels too, goodness. <laughs> it seems like there's just this giant, like, slope of experience and then just shoots off like a giant mountain anyway so we need to revive jackie because he just died goodness i was kind of hoping he'd just barely hang on with one hp but as you can obviously tell that didn't happen so we're going to use that e revive that we got no we're not going to use a hyper potion a revive in fact and there we go i bought a lot of super potions like off screen so i'm going to be periodically using them to heal people up just so i don't have to go back to the uh pokemon center I, guess, I think that'll save a little bit of time, don't you guys think? Anyways, so now that that trainer's been defeated, let's just carry on and... Ooh, hey, good looking, what's cooking? <laughs> and oh, an ace trainer, whoa. She apparently just loves Pokemon. And ooh, dang, this that sprite looks really cool and Monique. Whoa, it's gonna send out a de duo. De duo, huh? Not bad. Oh, I think Jackie's out in front. No, Jackie, you can't do jack crap. This is a duo. But you know what? His moxie is just telling me that he wants a chance. He wants to prove that he's the ultimate Pokemon. And he's going to use up. <laughs> um, you could have easily taken me out with a flying attack, but you didn't. So, whatever. We're going to go for another slash here. And the duo is actually locked into uproar, so we can just basically be safe. So it's pretty darn good. See, even in the most dire situations, Jackie can come out ahead. <laughs> and alright. So he's going to send out a Hilipatile. Hmm, I do believe that is an electric and normal type. Yep, there he is. So this guy 
If we can survive his first turn, we should be able to come out ahead and he's charging up a Razor Wind. That is a big mistake, buddy, because I'm going to send out a vital throw straight to your face. That's going to probably take you down. Yep, one hit. Bam! Get out of here. Gosh. <laughs> Man, Jackie and me, we see eye to eye, you know? An old crap of Granbull. This guy um is actually a fairy type in this generation, guys. Did you guys know that? It's pretty darn cool. So we're going to send Gogurt in here to do some special ops. We're going to set up some statuses. Because I don't believe our team can currently, at its state right now, take down this Pokemon. Because it's, well, pretty strong. Let's use Intimidate to take down our attack. And here's how, this is my strategy, all right? We're going to use Leech Seed and then Synthesis, all right? It's being a Fairy type, I believe that they're only weak to Steel and Poison types. Don't quote me on that, because this game just recently came out. Don't know every single fact, but currently we don't have any poison or steel type attacks on our team. And the Leech Seed went through, and we're going to slowly drain his HP. Super. Next turn we want to use a Synthesis. Actually, no. I think, honestly, we can just go for Razor Leaf. I think we can live. Yeah, we definitely outspeed, so that's good. <laughs> it's like the one Pokemon that does outspeed, and ooh, that didn't do very much at all. Oh, goodness. I may have made a mistake. But regardless, we still get a second chance, and we can heal up a little bit. All right, so now I think I want to go for the Synthesis. Since it lowered our attack so much, there's not really a whole lot we can do. And I wonder how we get Synthesis while inside of a cave. Yeah, okay, Pokemon Company. <laughs> and yeah, it doesn't really seem like we can do a whole lot to this Granbull. Maybe we should leave it to VV. Don't know, but it might have Bite. Oh, right, we're not Psychic-type. That's right, <laughs> I keep forgetting. All right, so we're going to switch into VV to see how much his Psybeam, or probably Ember should be the safer bet. Not totally sure on what the resistance is for Fairy-types are yet. It's just like back in the day when dark types and steel types were introduced. We didn't really know exactly how to deal with them. No, ooh, that was a crit. But we're going to heal a little bit. See, Leech Seed is so good, guys. You just don't get it. It's such an underrated move, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure, though, like, everybody uses it in, like, competitive battling, but, eh, whatever. So, we're going to send the Ember out and see how much damage that can do. Oh, pretty good, actually. This next... Ooh, is this going to kill us? No, actually. So this next Leech Seed should actually finish the Gramble off. Now, you're probably thinking, John, that was not as hard as it had to be. Well, you can never be too careful, in my opinion. And also, we get healed up on our Pokemon a little bit, so that was all around worth it. Wow, Excalibur might actually pass a VV and ooh, wants to learn Slash. Let's see. We have Shadow Claw, Yuri Cutter, Aerial Lace, and Swords Dance. I think, honestly, for the time being, Fury Cutter... It's a good move, but it's not really ideal. So I'm going to get rid of it for Slash, just for that extra bit of damage. And ooh, Eevee wants to learn Takedown. It's learning from its big brother, Gogurt. So we're going to get rid of Refresh for that. And yes, believe me, guys, it may take a while, but this little Eevee will have its time to shine, just as the duo will. And all right. So we defeated Monique. <laughs> ah, whatever. You know, I know that's not what she said, but... You know, if this trainer was real, that's exactly what she would say. Anyways, so we're going to look around here a little bit. Problem is, I don't want to fight this trainer. She looks really boring. Doesn't have that cool Pokemon. So turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Ugh, good enough. Okay. <laughs> and, ooh, I want this item that is over here. And this is a really cool puzzle. Look at the reflection. It shows that there's stairs right there, even though you can't see them. And this item on the ground is a black belt. Yeah. That's going to increase the damage of fighting type moves now you know who has a lot of fighting type moves um mm, uh gogurt no it's actually jackie so we're gonna give that to him really quickly mm-hmm there we go super now it's not it's not really too big of a boost but it's better than nothing i mean most of our pokemon don't even have held items at the moment other than well berries and stuff like that so there we go oh sweet now that person is really boring trust me and hey it's tierno what's up bro hey johnny what's going on huh if you use the move Flash, not as many wild Pokemon will turn up. Oh, so it's like an artificial repel. Or more so the repels are the artificial ones, and I kind of depend on Flash. Uh, I'm still not very good at battling, so I keep running into trouble. I'm sure I wish I could be as good as you. Doesn't everybody. <laughs> Alright, here's another puzzle. Let's get an escape rope. Nice. That'll come in handy if we ever need to escape here, which probably won't happen since I have a lot of potions. And I don't necessarily want to battle this black belt either, so I'm going to just go past him. Trust me, there's more than enough, like, mandatory battles, and hey, what's this dude? Since ancient times, mirrors have always possessed a kind of mystical power. I will take advantage of that power and use it to defeat you! Yeah, um, okay. And this is another psychic. Ugh, name is Franz. 
Brand's Fernand Dan. He's gonna toss out a Chai Mecco. Gosh dang it, Jackie! Why do I keep having you in the front, man? <laughs> this isn't Rush Hour too, anyways. <laughs> They're going to send out Excalibur just because ja this is like Jackie and Excalibur's show, man. I don't really plan to have it this way, but they're just have really good type coverage and are ripping everybody to shreds here. And the confusion comes through, but it's not very effective thanks to our steel typing. Ugh, that is so annoying. You know what? I'm going to risk it. We're going to go for the Shadow Claw here and see what can happen. Come on, confusion. There's like, what, like a 20% chance that it will actually confuse us? And there's a 50% chance that we'll hit ourselves, and yes, we didn't! For once in this Let's Play, we didn't hit ourselves in confusion. Thank you. <sighs> awesome. Next cover is going to get a lot of EXP. Alright, I really need to find something else to say than that people have leveled up, because if you didn't know, that kind of happens a lot in this game. And okay, I was going to send out a Pokemon I met. some of you may or may not recognize, which is Golurt. Golurt? Yeah, he's pretty cool. And this golem is a ghost and ground type, yeah. So we're going to use that to our advantage and use a razor leaf and try and damage him. Hopefully take him out in one hit. Or it, since it's technically genderless. And yep, <laughs> you thought Gogurt would suck the whole Let's Play. Nope, he's getting, he's getting better. But getting better every day. And we defeated Franz. Take that, you jerk. Trying to use mirrors against us. You hardly even did. Now I need to make mention of something. In this cave, you can actually run into a fairy rock type. So if you want to have that on your team, well, you know where it is now. Yeah, let's use another repel. All right. And, ooh, these trainers. You got to make sure that we got Jackie and, yeah, Vivi will do fine. So, yeah, let's battle this couple, apparently. Aw. Uh, what do you think, honey? Should we share our happiness with this young trainer? Wait, what? Duh. That could be taken out of context really terribly. And the honeymooners, you and Ami won a battle. Aw, isn't that just adorable? And they're going to toss out... Wow, that's pretty funny. And they're going to toss out a combi in a Vespa Queen. Which is kind of funny how she's like the queen bee and he's just some dweeb. <laughs> now, the reason we got Jackie out here is because, if you may have forgotten, he's got Aerial Ace. Now, our top priority, we got to take down this stinking Vespa Queen. Because she's, well, the queen and she's going to do a lot of damage. So an Ember should take her down half. Or more so. <laughs> and Jackie should be able to finish him off and, ew, a gust. That is not feeling good. However, Air Lace does way more damage than Gust. And down goes the Vespa Quen in turn one. Didn't even get to do anything. That's what you gotta do when you're dealing with Vespa Quens, because they're gonna be a little mischievous and such, and they're gonna do certain attacks. And VV's level 32. Oh my gosh, so close to evolution, man. Oh, dude, I can't wait. I seriously can't wait. Oh, man. Alright. So we basically just have to do the same thing. I believe we got a crit on the Vespa Quen, which was really stinking lucky, but whatever. And the, wow, the Kombi just goes down at one hit. That's how weak it was. Goodness. Good game. Uh, yeah, you two enjoy your honeymoon in some damp cave. Yeah, Seems pretty gross, actually. <laughs> and no thanks, I don't really want any of your happiness. I got my own, and ooh, this guy looks pretty darn tough. Let's see, who's healthy here? Hmm. Let's uh, let's uh, restore Excalibur up a little bit with a... No, not a Hyper Potion. Super Potion will be fun. There we go. And, wow, you really gotta love Excalibur's current HP. I guess you guys will see it in a second. I've been sort of lazy not showing off the bottom screen, but that's just because I want to get content out as quickly as I can. My only desire is to brighten up my Pokemon's day by defeating you in battle. <laughs> well, too bad they're gonna be emotionally depressed, and wow, that Ace Trainer looks really cool in my opinion. <laughs> the designs for this region are really great, and whoa, it's an Absol, ooh. Hmm, come to think of it, I don't think Excalibur can really do too much to this guy, so... Probably should have let Jackie just stay out in hindsight, but it won't matter too much. We're going to switch him in real fast. And even if it does bite us, it's not going to be very effective because, well, we're a fighting type. And we're going to break this mold so hard. Oh, use taunt. I believe that means we can only use attacking moves, which is what I was going to do from the start. So we're just going to set up a vital throw here. And as I predicted, it's going to use a bite. Only doing a little bit of damage, approximately 11. And this vital throw is going to hurt. Mm! Doing so much damage, man. Oh, gosh. I just love Panchan so much, dude. Such an awesome Pokemon. And oh, my gosh. Poor Pokemon, they're getting so powerful and so old. Uh, not like old in a bad way, but it's just so good to see them grow up, man. Gosh. I remember they were just so weak. Level 8s, level 5s. And now they're full-fledged level 30s, man. I'm sure it does fly. And this pincer could be a pain in my butt. However, I got embers, and you don't. So I'm going to take out my Wampada Bane. Avada Kedavra. Haha. No, no, it's going to do revenge. 
Not good. We can tank that. We can tank that. We can tank that. Just barely, though. Oh, goodness. Here comes the beeping. The beeping. But a second ember. It's going to take down the pincer. No problem. All right. That ice trainer was actually way weaker than the other one. It's going to only have, like, two Pokemon. Granted, they were pretty strong and wow. Jackie. Such a high level. This place is, like, basically level cave. Seriously. It's crazy. All right. We need to use potions on our Pokemon severely. It's pretty good I got all these. I'd have to go back to the Pokemon Center every time just because somebody was in the red. Let's use a second one. Why not? Vivi actually has a lot of HP compared to, like, you know, our other Pokemon. If you step on that, I believe you get in a random encounter, so don't do that. It's not so random, though, because you can easily avoid it. Let's come right through here. As long as we have a Super Repel, we're free to explore, really. Let's come up here real fast. Huh. This is trying to show that there's a Pokeball over there, but... Oh, I see. You sny mirror. That's pretty darn cool. And we get the Earth Plate, which is a held item that boosts ground-type attacks. We don't currently have any ground-type attacks because, well, I didn't really want any, so can't really worry about that. And up, oh, see? If you look in the back of the mirror, it shows us how to get in here. And here is another TM, Gyro Ball, which is a Steel-type move, so we can't complain that we can't take down Fairy-types anymore. However, it's basically based on how fast your Pokemon is, the slower the Pokemon the more damage it does, so I don't know, it's not too great. And what's all this about? Hmm, maybe more on that later. But yeah, let's go back to where we were. I'm gonna hop over on this cliff up here. There we go. And alright, let's continue exploring, shall we? Ah, uh, good. Thank goodness I have so many repels. This place would be actually relatively annoying. Let's come over here and get this Pokeball, which has an iron in it. Neato. And right up here should, well, be the exit. I think we have to get past one more trainer, and that'll be pretty much it for a reflective cave. Let's Battle this dude real quick. Come on, as well. Whose shadow stands on the walls of Reflection Cave? Tis I, that the hiker! Arr! And the hiker sprite. <laughs> Look at that. It looks so funny. I don't know. His beard's all bushy and stuff. And oh, he has a. That thing. Crocodile or whatever. No, oh, Sandile. You're so wrong. It's been a long time since I played Generation 5. I think it's actually been like almost five years. That can't be right. No way. Pretty close, though. Huh. Anyways, we're going to send Jackie out here to take care of this guy because, well... Oh no, he's using Embargo! We can't use items now! Wow, Embargo looks so cool. Dude! That is pretty stinking rad. We're going to go for Karate Chop here because it's not necessarily the most ideal thing. It's just... Oh, I thought I'd be faster. Darn. I'm pretty sure it'll be one-hit kill. Yep, there we go. His Pokemon is only level 22. Remember, like, level 30, so it's not much of a challenge, but still really good EXP. Let's see, now he's going to sound a Digzerberry, huh? Something is telling me that we should go into Gogurt for this, because, well, Gogurt's a go-to guy for ground and rock type Pokemon, because he takes him down rather quickly with his leaves. Alright, this is the evolved form of Benibli, and it looks disgusting. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not a fan of this guy personally. Oh, it's trying to kick me. Oh, oh, why would you do that with your disgustingly... Dirt ridden feet. That's just not gonna fly, bro. And I'm gonna take you down with some razor leaves and just look at it. I mean, it's kind of derpy in a funny way, but I don't know. Being a normal ground type really doesn't appeal to me for some reason. I don't know what it is. All the Pokemon that have like a normal and blank typing are kind of lackluster in my opinion, but if you like the Pokemon, by all means use them. I'm not saying they're bad. I don't even know if the Pokemon I'm using are particularly good. But you know, that's part of the experimentation and Weevil. Yeah, oh, this guy could actually be sort of a pain. Hmm. Let's send Excalibur to dispatch this dude because the Weeble is a very unique type. It is a bug rock type Pokemon and is kind of really good against our team. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to Swords Dance one time and then we're going to go for the Ghost Blade. And oh no, it's using Rock Polish, which is going to make it extremely fast. So. It was already faster to begin with, so I don't know why it would use rock polish, but that's not the point. So we're going to try and, hmm, the Aerial Ace want to do anything. The Slash might do something, but I believe Shadow Claw is going to be doing some pretty good damage. And here comes the Bug Bite doing approximately nothing. Ha! Fool! So let's see how much... Oh, that actually did a lot of damage. That's good. All right. So we defeated the Dweeble, which I thought was actually going to give me more trouble. Hmm. And that Hiker goes down, and guys, that's Reflective Cave. It's pretty okay. We can use a strength here if we wanted to, but honestly, I kind of don't. This lady should heal our Pokemon up. Hmm. Heal my Pokemon. Oh darn, she doesn't. And yeah, go on that cliff if you want to, but if you don't, just go through here. 
and we have defeated Reflective Cave. But a bang, and now we're in Shalor City. And guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Y version. I really hope you enjoyed this part and all the Pokemon trainers that we defeated because there were actually a lot of them. And yeah, stay tuned over the next episode where we take on the Shalor City Gym.